excuse me as my face literally looks and he probably knows what I'm talking about Lord just protect Gammy Oregon if there's one place I could stay holy it could be that town um <laughs> I don't know what to say. There's a lot of things that I could say. Um, I'm very inspired. You know, Missy, I got your video right here. Right in front of me. I have seen your draw my life. Um, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm just inspired by her video. I feel like this is, like, sinking. I'm trying to set you guys up on my, like... <laughs> On my bed, um, situation trying to give you guys the best view. Whether whoever's watching, I'm um, hopefully your appropriate person because I do agree with Missy. Um, because I don't agree with Sin at all, and I, I do agree with with Missy when she says, um. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just don't have patience for the devil. Like, it just... And those people that follow him, you know, you know who you are in my life. Um... You know who you are in my life. I'll say that again. And with that being said, you know, I would advise you to get up out of this house because if you've watched me for the full-on length of time even before i think pretty and flawed was like one of the first um like major ish like thousand like she just has a lot of subscribers um one of the one of the major people um i'm well if you remember me i'm I don't know if I'm if I've just had issues with Instagram just because me and Nicole Guerrero are one woman like that and we just can't deal with it. But um, and you know Nicole Guerrero if we're that big on YouTube, the least you can do is find my spiritual family and they're all at Survivor Supernatural. Like we all know, but <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot I could say, but I really do agree with Missy. Like I have no patience. For the devil anymore. I'm just so frustrated because I've tried to to go to the cops to deal with this person, and they completely act. They completely act like just like this person, and, and honestly, it's not even just like this person. They completely act like they are helpless. And frustrated and recently I have had a really terrible time in this house I've had a really difficult time in my life since I got um since like after 2014 so this is 2021 I graduated high school in 2013 um you know Miss Gunnerson, I'm sure you'll remember. Um, I was very jumbled. I was very uh, confused. That's the best word I can find. I was very confused by the drama about what was going on. I was in a household with a grown man. This person, okay, and I think I've already talked about this on this YouTube channel, but I'll just quickly try to say it. I met quote-unquote Superman I've talked about can be Oregon cuts forth their way you guys know what you're doing with your potato salad it's good but with that being said um I have talked about um tried to talk about Superman on this channel um I've had a very difficult time um coping with why is it that I don't have the sister-in-law that God called me to? Why is it that in Canby, Oregon, 
it has seemed like sin and and then my dad I just talked to him last night and all this stuff and and I'm confused like I just I've always been different than other girls and you know I'm sure a lot of us know what different means you know she looks like the Virgin Mary she's got shiny brown hair like the Virgin Mary like so with that being said I, I'm just really done with this particular family member. Like, even right now, while I'm doing this video, and just talking and trying to eat at the same time, and, um, I guess we're back home, doing my bongs. But, um, my, my life has been very difficult, and I do blame a lot of you people around me on um, my whole life. I think I talked to my cousin Jordan, like, a year ago, over a year ago or something on the phone. And, um... She said something like, oh, yeah, grandma has Alzheimer's. Then I'm like, how is it that you're in medical, in the medical field, but you don't know how to heal grandma? Like, what? Like, I understand this woman. My grandma was terrible. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat that one. She just kind of honestly treated me with disrespect. I don't feel like my grandpa went out of his way to bother me. I, I feel like, you know, my spiritual family is right in saying that we do need to have forgiveness for people. But when you have to forgive to a level where it just keeps feeling like that person just wants you to bow and worship that person, then that's when it gets overwhelming and tired. Like, I cannot deal with the problem when... When somebody calls you 911, you need to deal with the person who actually looks like they need to be thrown in a cop car. This person that I refuse to talk about, and it's funny how I just mentioned um, his Superman, real brother-in-law, Superman, who actually looks like a fair, fair spitting image of my my mom's uncle, Freddy. Um, the only first time that I met this Uncle Freddy was at my Nana's viewing in 2009. That was, like, unneeded and uh, so unuseful. And, Teresa, I don't have any mental issues. You have mental issues. Okay, you literally threw a fit. Well, I decided to go on YouTube and talk about myself, my struggles, my whatever. If you are brave enough... To step out, step out of your comfort zone, step out of whatever this is, then kudos to you because I, I really do feel like I have been disrespected. I know that you, this person is in my house, um, probably right now, if not, thank God, um, I feel like I have been very disrespected and I don't know what else to say with that. I, I'm i tired of feeling like it's for some reason it keeps feeling as though you know, there's a reality. I've been swatting um, fruit flies up here forever. It's a freaking plague. Is it not? That's what happened in Moses. Now, I'm not going to say this person's name, but I will say, you know, maybe so other people can know. My, I've never been told what my great-grandfather's name was. My great-grandfather is my grandpa. Um, Tony Baron. Sorry, my foot's got to be going that way. Um, <laughs> my grandpa, I think I've showed like pictures of them I was trying to just look at pictures and they just kind of got serious and stuff but um that's my grandpa um I just feel like I just have no patience for the bullshit anymore Teresa you need to call whatever you called before you need to call the ambulance and have these two thrown in the paddy whack, give a dog a bone, an ambulance, and have them be sent to Unity because, um, 
and while they're sent to Unity, you need to serve them papers. Because if she just doesn't do it, what place does that leave me at? Does that make me feel like, oh god, now I gotta go to a court and go talk to somebody? All of these things, I just, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm actually considering kind of staying home today because I have been going out a lot and I'm really just kind of exhausted of going town to town. Um, I don't know if many of you know, if you've known me personally for a while, you've known that we've lived in Canby, um, and I would like to preface because this is my life, I'm looking at myself and my camera and everything, um, I tried to take a shower yesterday, and my body just felt so uncomfortable from the night before. I got terrible sleep the night before. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I have tried to pursue God and run to Him and, and do the things that I need to do. And for some reason in 2018... And she just up and decided to call these ambulance and call the this and that. It just it's just Teresa Gallagher is frustrating me. Teresa May Gallagher. I have tried to heal my soul and feel better about myself and in myself and and heal everything with you know what my mom. She is Erica Jane. That is her. That is why we came up here. That is everything. That is her, but you know what? I'm I am this I'm done with the amount of respect that she has given her sisters. I'm gonna name you guys because it feels better to me to just name. I mean, plus there's probably like other people just like that. But Lisa Parmentier, I almost called you Lisa Marie Presley or Lisa Marie Parmentier. Um, but um, you know, I I block and yes, she was name anybody messing with these people. But I didn't, and, and that's the thing is that and I, just like anyone else, don't really have to say that, you know, you just have to believe in, that's, that's how much patience I have with the bullshit. I don't even know what happened to Lisa. My mom apparently doesn't like you for whatever reason. Um, my relationship with my mom has declined um, extremely and terribly. Um, I'm gonna put Missy's video away because I feel like some of the things I might say might, uh, affect other people. Um, I, I just feel like at one point in time, Mom, did you ever say, you know, I need help? Like, okay, if you don't like this random person named Carrie, then get rid of her. Like, it just doesn't make any sense why she's hesitating to do certain things. If I were her, I'd send her straight to Temecula or, and she could go over there. And just, I just feel like my mom, like, just didn't care. And I should have never came up here. I should have never stayed down there. I should have gone straight to the Trumps. And I feel like my whole family, my whole life has been trying to kill me. And it's, this has just been like a freaking lie. Like, where is Yeshua in the midst of this whole thing? Like, I'm very upset. I'm very mad at this pathetic brother. He looks nothing of what these pictures, baby pictures I've been looking at for a while. This is not him back here. Um, hey, I, I no, right? Like, I almost feel like taking down these pictures because I just feel as though they, they don't mean anything, almost. Like, You know, what, what do you say? <laughs> right? What do you say? Like, I, I just don't know what else to say. I have been feeling like God wants me to worship him. And I'm trying to do that. I'm just tired. I'm the Virgin Mary. So, 
for me, handling things with such, like, strength in life is ridiculous. I should should probably be given a house up here. Um, you know, it, it is biblical that we're supposed to have a home. I mean, technically, my home is still in California. Um, it is just tiring. I felt like before I turned this camera on, um that I should probably kind of apologize to any of my spiritual family members because I just was so done with the amount of sin and bullish that I had to deal with. Like, it just, I just feel like there has to be something done. I will definitely put this as an adult um, video because I really feel like kids do not need to see evil. Um... I almost feel like my parents are being looked at by God, rightfully. Because. Because, yeah, you guys and my whole family have not been listening. I feel like I'm even being made fun of while I'm sitting here trying to talk and put my feelings out there. And, and try to deal with this um whole thing. We're going on like 16 some minutes, almost 17 I just don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know, I've, I'm feeling drawn to, I'm feeling drawn to worship the Lord at this point. Um, I have been very open and honest. I have been very, very vocally honest about me being a Trump wife in this damn state. And if you people don't start taking care of it, let me tell you something. I probably got an angel right here, around here somewhere. Because my spiritual family has definitely been honest in telling us the angel networks have had enough too. And they're definitely coming after. They need to come after. And that's the thing. And I've been trying to kind of tell God. Like, you know... I just apologize if I'm pausing and not talking enough. I, I just don't know what to do. I have a shitty brother who at least spats off of his mouth all the time about how he's going to, like, kill me. Like, it just sounds, like, strange. And I, was, I read some weird story. And, you know, you can kind of not believe or believe in, um, what's his name? Um, Jamie Lynn Spears. He just kind of sounds like... Like a pop of my, or not pop of my, sorry. <laughs> Christopher Robbins, Winnie the Pooh, I'm sorry. But, um, he's, um, Jamie Spears is like mom of my's dad. Um, from what they've told me, it sounds a little too similar to my situation. Um, you know. At what point in time do we be honest with God and say we're sorry and move on? Like, I've never heard an apology from this brother. Um, it's, like I said, he's not these two right here. Um, it's not this one. I've never heard an apology from this brother. We have lived in the same house since I got back up here. He still lives with us. He, they have left. I don't know if I documented that in, in the 561 house that was where I first started this channel um they they did leave at that point in time my mom was like oh well we should just press charges I'm like well you know what if I were you I take the damn kids tell them you need to leave and there you go and if she has to do anything all my mom has to do is explain to the cops I don't want them around uh, Stephen and Carrie make me and everyone nervous. And my daughter and I can't even go down to the kitchen to take care of ourselves because it's one too far down there. And um, I just don't like them. Like, if you don't like evil, you shouldn't have to, like, try to.
try to force yourself to like it. And that's what I just saw my mom do the, the other day ago. Is, um, I was walking out with her to her car. We were going somewhere. And, um, from, from the house. And she walked out and she saw someone's random car in the front of the house. I'm like, you know what? No. You need to take your shit and you need to get out of this house. Because you do look like the kid in freaking Lemonade Mouth. And you do look like the liar. And I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear this narrative about how you want to use the cops against me to murder me. Because you don't care about America. I don't want to hear this narrative anymore. I don't want to, I feel like Kourtney Kardashian when I say that and I hate to put you in any sort of uncomfortable situation, Courtney. But... I just don't want to hear this narrative about, you know, oh, well, she works more, and da-da-da-da-da. Well, you know what, Teresa? My in-laws could have given you more money than even your in-laws. Nobody has one set of parents. <sighs> you should be able to reach out to other people for your help, and you should be able to feel comfortable in your house with some help, and I feel like... I'm done going to the cops about the same problem. You cops here in Malala, Oregon and in Canby, Oregon have not helped me. And yes, in Canby, Oregon, when I, this was like in early January, um, what am I trying to say here? In early January of 2000, what was it? Early January 2020, I'm I'm all jumbled up because I don't feel happy, because I don't feel listened to, because I don't feel like people have said, hey, you know what, Antonia, how do you feel about this? I'm really cared about what I'm going to say. Like, I remember one of the, like, I was in the 561 house, and my mom had asked me, oh, well, what do you think? Like, should I let them come live here? I'm like, what? And you're, like, literally letting a thief come in your house. You're literally letting... Me almost be killed because you are more mentally comfortable with death happening in your household. Like, I'm I'm not okay with this. And you know what? I'm going to say this and I might get off of the camera. Um, because I need to finish this food and try to take care of myself. I got to run some errands in this town. And I might even get out of this town for a while. Because I'm not happy with the way that things are going and feeling and stuff. <sighs> Uh, that's that's this much patience that I have with the bullshit. I don't even know if this what is that like a centimeter? It's not even an inch. Um, I have no patience for the bullish right now. The cops here in Malala, Oregon, have tried and did uh, the last time I talked to one. Literally, he looked like he's supposed to be Santa Claus. I was like. Okay, let me just get back past that because his job is to actually protect the people and stop a bullet in midair and then, you know, tell the bullet to go find Yeshua and stuff and um, so we can deal with that and everything else. But it just, it just infuriates me when I haven't even been able to be physically around the person I'm supposed to marry. I've been very vocal about me marrying Don Jr. Trump. I was supposed to go to Africa. All of these things have just been exhausting. Um, I even have been having my this phone. I'm going to lay back because I don't feel comfortable in this house right now. And uh, I'm kind of... Missy said in her video that she feels comfortable when she's like in some kind of like... Um, just like a closet kind of comfort. I feel comfort when I'm on my bed. In little places like that. Um, I just, you know, we want to be around cozy stuff. And soft um, um, bed materials. And comforters. and um, Yeah, that's why they call it a comforter. Oh my god. Um... You know, if you are a cop in Malala, Oregon, or heck, I guess, um, kind of the Oregon area, I would like your help and support because this is ridiculous. Like, 
if you can't bring yourself over here and take this person out of my house and bound him and help me just like get rid of him then I don't I don't know what else to tell you like I should have never ever went to jail for anything that people no matter what I feel like I'm so frustrated because they're like over here like oh you was trying to steal stuff I'm like trying to steal what like at what point in time do you say uh you know what that's god stuff i'm gonna leave her alone like i just feel like (sighs) i've tried to take care of myself and you know this is this is my last time say you are miserable whoever you are um i have a feeling you know you this random person lives in my house and then you have the audacity to come on my youtube channel and mess everything up like at what like, I'm going to finish off with what I just started talking about like a minute or two ago. And that is if you are a cop in the um kind of Clackamas County, Lala, Oregon area, and you are willing to literally come over here and grab this person out of my house and tell Carrie she needs to get lost too. Like, <laughs> my mom should have had this woman kicked off at my Tia Martha's house. Like, she's like, oh, well, I don't know why. Um... We don't know why he went up there. Well, you know what, Martha? Ryan needs to marry Lindsay. I have tried to help you people understand this my whole life. And all all I remember was my grandma spitting at me on my bed in that house. Like, it just I'm just kind of done with everything. This house, I swear it was never God's idea. Um... I don't have issues. Nobody has mental issues. Nobody has sick issues. You can't sit there and try to tell people what they can't have in life. And you know what, Teresa? You have lost your virginity. You have had pathetic sex um, in one of the houses that I live through. I don't know why I still trust you still to this day. I'm the one that brought us to this stupid house. And I repent for ever bringing us to the stinking house. I need to go clean my face up and take care of myself. So Latina in me is like totally rearing its head. I always like to remind myself Brianna has it worse because <laughs> our parents just love her that much. Now do you, Martha? And it mattered so much to my Tia Martha about getting all of this stuff done. For her life. And now all of a sudden she's married. And has an empty house. And I'm being told that Brandon Barone is over there. I'm like I don't know how much more of this I can take. Like I don't understand how my dad. Because I talked to him last night. He's like oh well my blood pressure is like going up. I'm like what does that mean? Like. <laughs> like he's the one. That when I lived down there with him. From about 2005 to 2009. Um. Because I had left here in Oregon um, in 2005. He better not be on the other side of the door with a gun or a knife or something. You need to leave this house and you need to go report yourself to the cops. Whatever, whoever you are. No, uh, he's just your brother. Oh, what is he do you? I want him gone. Point blank. I am getting out of this shit. I don't know why. I feel like Charizard when I say that, like, literally Maria, whoever Maria is to me, literally fucked me over. Like, I don't even know why I bothered to come up here. Like, these people, they're supposed to marry certain people. Now I just almost feel like Kanye um, West because he's been, I've kind of seen some, like, thumbnails of the videos and apparently he's been really upset with um, his parent-in-law family because he just doesn't understand why they're like using sin as an excuse all the time and all this crap um (laughs) the best way to keep a marriage alive is to keep holy spirit alive in it and (sighs) i was just really inspired by missy's video um you know missy if you feel the need if you feel like resurrecting your dad is ever an option go right ahead like i don't even know why i would have to say that um 
you know, God just has to say certain things. I feel like a mess. I don't know why my face is getting this mess in it. I tried to call Hank and Brenda Goodman and um, try to contact them. And they just completely, like, on the person on the phone literally just sounded like they weren't even real. It was like, where are Hank and Brenda Kuhneman? Like, it just... <laughs> no. I can feel apologetic because I know... I believe it was last year, 2020... Um, what am I saying? I'm so tired. I'm about to knock out again and just go to sleep. Um, I was rudely woken up a couple of weeks ago. It was like two, three weeks ago. In the middle of the night at 12.23. And Stephen literally was trying to talk to someone by my freaking bedroom window. I'm going to say this again. If you are a cop. and Or heck, a, uh, a red truck man. Like a fireman situation. Um, the fire station people, (sighs) if you are, yeah, one of the red truck men, um, I believe it's not the longer fire truck, it's the more smaller ambulance, I'm not 100% sure of what, I'm a lot of Oregon, I haven't been to a fire station in a while, and there you go, um, yeah, Steven and Carrie, I literally got kind of kicked out of the other bedroom, Because my mom didn't want me complaining about the problem. I'm like, excuse me? You need to be asking your sisters for help and not wishing for me to sit here and be hurt and in pain all the time. I'm not even going to leave this house today because I'm just too tired. I'm just, I'm really, really exhausted, really tired. And if I do leave, um, this house, I'll probably just go in town do a couple things that I've been trying to tell myself to do. Um, but I'm, I'm just exhausted. I'm tired. And I apologize to anyone that I have hurt um, in this process. I know that I was supposed to go to Africa um, mission strip in 2018. And um, I just, I, I don't know how much more I can apologize for this. I really feel like I'm apologizing for my mom. She has been... She has been um, uncounseled and untherapized. Is that what it is? Like, I believe the front door is possibly unlocked. My mom has not been locking the front door in a while. It's just, I just feel like (laughs) the perspective that I have, and I'm really just going to say this and get off of this camera, like, real, real key. Um... I have never been the kind of person to talk and, like, use my mouth to speak a lot. But um, over the last number of years, it has been made clear to me that my cousin Melanie had um, left. Um, what was it? <laughs> had um, kind of left her her like lioness Chloe Kardashian self to me um she never really told me these things um oh god what now every day so there's some freaking sirens and everything else I got stuff to do today so they don't need to be messing with me so exhausted I'm gonna have to go to sleep and um deal with this I don't know what's be going down I have gotten terrible sleep um, since <sighs> there's just a lot of things that people just don't know, apparently, and it's it's, it's making me so uncomfortable. Can be Oregon, I, I don't even know if I can believe in any of you. Um, Jolene Anderson, I forgot to mention her name. Uh, she should definitely be going in there and asking my mom what's going on too because i was watching 13 reasons why that was years ago and um i'm you know you can't sit here and make assumptions on what i'm exuding just because you don't know how to ask a question (sighs) 
I'm really exhausted. I'm really tired. There's a lot I could sit here on camera and say, but I'm just tired and, and, and worn out. I really am. And I know who you are on the other side of the camera looking at me for whatever reason you're feeling some type of way. Um, <laughs> I really feel like I'm saying that because when I first started on um, like YouTube, like I think I had like another YouTube channel and I was like putting my personal feelings on the internet. And I, I really feel like I was doing this because I am spiritually a lot like um kelly clarkson we just have that like spirit of um i don't know the spirit of virgin mary and i feel like she probably would have done the 